Hey, welcome to Living the Dream with Dennis. Um, I got some feedback. I got some folks that asked me some questions. So today I'm going to talk about the chip on my shoulder. Um, one of the questions I got was, um, you, you live with pain every day. You've talked about it many times. Um, with the amount of pain that you live with, does it drive you crazy when you hear somebody else complain about something minor, you know, or say they're having a bad day or um, whatever. Do you? I think the actual question was, do you want to slap them around? And that's a yes and yes or a no. I consider myself a pretty sympathetic and empathetic person. I really try to to um, not compare to my situation. That being said, I'm human. And there are many, many times, specifically when it comes to um, people backing out of civic organiz uh, civic obligations, community ob obligations, or obligations with their kids, where they say, I'm too busy, or I don't feel good, or I'm, I'm just having a bad day. And I, I, I'm just really not up to it. That's when, um, I don't know if you want to call it a character flaw or what, but that's when I really do get angry. Um, and I have, on rare occasion, popped off. I have, on rare occasion, gotten very upset with someone where they said, oh, I, I just can't, you know, I know I said I would do this, but I just can't do it. I'm really run down with the holidays, and I'm really busy. And it's somebody who either doesn't have kids or has one child, and they, um, you know, work a, you know, one job and have no other community uh, involvements, no other, no other life entanglement, so to speak. Now, I, in, I emphasize, shame on me, this is a character flaw, because I don't live in their circumstances, but well, that's when I tend to get upset. And it has come out of my mouth, and I've said, really? Really, you're too busy? Really, you don't have time for this? Well, let me explain about my time. Let me explain how I run a business, how I have four children, how I coach three sports, how I serve on three boards, and, oh, by the way, I have a debilitating illness that makes me be in pain every single day for at least the last 10 years. Whew, that anger came out a little bit. Um, but that's it. So, yes, you know, I, 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 I play a good guy on TV 96% um, of the time. I am very empathetic and sympathetic and really reach to help people move forward. But, and I know that a lot of other people that have MS, especially those of us who are still actively working, do have that, that chip, that chip on the shoulder of, really, tell me again, tell me again how you're too busy, or tell me again about your, your bad day because you get a little chest cold, um, because I'm carrying around a lot. And so every once in a while that chip does boil over and then I have to sit back and I have to gain perspective and I have to realize I haven't walked in those people's shoes and, and you know, that to them and their perspective, they are having a bad day. But um, I do feel it. And I think that honesty, part of this video process is the importance of honesty because when I do feel it, you know, there are times when I feel like a bad person for feeling that way and that I, I shouldn't be comparing and I know that. But the more I've talked to people with MS and, and other chronic illnesses, the more I realize that it is commonplace, uh, especially for those of us that do push and, and fight through. And, you know, for me, I overcommit. I do a lot of things to stay involved. And because of that, when I when I hear something where somebody's using things as an excuse, I do get a bit sore about it. So I just wanted to share that perspective, answer that person's question, then ask me the question, but share that perspective and say, um, I'm not always uh, the most understanding. I do get upset. I do get impatient. 
I do compare, I'm not proud of it, but I do compare sometimes and feel like, well, that's that's nonsense. I don't want to hear about how busy you are or, or you know, the, the bad day. Um, so that is a character flaw I'm sharing. That's my chip on my shoulder. I do try to improve from that and hopefully get a better outlook as things go forward. And with that, I'm going to keep living the dream with MS.